Hi everyone, our journal page today. I'm working in my sketchbook, a, a journal, and I've already started. And I wanted to do a gesso resist, and white on white just doesn't show. I hardly could see what I was doing. And I've picked some stencils that are a, with a mandala design and just went all over this page and in between I wanted a lot of details uh, in between I've also done this with a stencil and gesso and this just so I won't have a spaces left without details I don't know if you can see it maybe if I will tilt the page you can see what I've done here basically it will it should look like this and I've just made a usually when I do a gesso resist I use my homemade sprays that are uh, from gel food coloring and water and this was done with spray and then I wanted to try and use watercolor so basically they look the same I just wanted to see if it will work not everyone has access to gel food coloring and maybe a watercolor will be more accessible so this time I'm going to use watercolors and this is only the first layer I want to try something that I haven't done before okay, I've got the gesso resist here and then on top of it I want to go again with gesso and see if I can do a two layers of almost of the gesso resist so I'm taking some uh, this is a pelican watercolor is and I have it like three decades this set don't know if they are still making a this thing and I just want to play with the colors and I really don't care where everything goes I also want them blending so I'm going to switch between colors and you see I'm letting them mix and you can uh, already see the gesso resist working and if i don't have enough i'm just going to add until i have the vibrancy i want because I want this a uh, this layer to be vibrant and I'm planning on well neon colors on top of it so I want some contrast I'm taking more water where I want a more blending between colors and as I said if I feel it's not enough I'll just add more later let's take another blue Just playing
So you see I'm just putting down some uh, well stains of color is really uh, randomly no <laughs> there is no uh, rhyme or reason to it just so I will have an interesting background that's it nothing to it so I'm going to continue and then I'm going going to let this dry and then I'll come back I'm back so finished with this it's a uh, dry now I want to go to my next layer and let's hope it will work <laughs> and not create a mess so once again I'm taking a mandala stencil this one I made and I want to again do the same thing with gesso on top I am using a makeup sponge I want to make this one and I have another one uh, that I think maybe will go like this we'll see basically I want to see if uh, I can make it a, an interesting a pattern on top of this and we'll see what uh, comes up so first of all I'm going for the gesso and let's start I'm dabbing it so I won't have too much on top Now the plan is to do the gesso and then on top of it paint and I'm thinking neon colors so they will pop up on my page and without the gesso they will just disappear on this very detailed background. Now the point was to have patterns that correspond with one another which is the man mandalas and I've got them in all kinds of patterns on and sizes and now I'm using a bigger one on top of all the little detail in the background and I hope it will be something interesting and not a mess I don't know what will come out of it and this stencil I've made uh, from acetate and I've cut it by hand usually I use um, nail scissors because they are more dainty and they have a curve so it's easier to work with and for straight lines I use a exacto knife but basically whatever works for you if you want to make your own stencil it doesn't even have to be on acetate there are all kinds of plastic uh, dividers in office supply that can also work to make a stencil and sometimes they are even um, more flexible and uh, easier to cut so this is going again to take me some time and I, ha I can also see that I have areas that are not completely dry so I have a difficulty uh, putting down the gesso without it lifting uh, damaging my page behind but I'll just push through and make another uh, layer of gesso if needed if I feel it, uh, it doesn't cover well, I'll just go again and put more gesso on top. But first it needs to be completely dry. So I'm going to continue doing this and after this uh, large mandala, I, as I showed you, I want to do another one at least two more uh, to create something interesting on top and when I'm finished with this gesso I'll come back and we'll continue to the painty part of the next layer I'll be back
okay i'm back and as you can see a lot is going on here lots of details and now i want to try and put a paint on top of all i've done here with the gesso and i've got several uh, colors uh, here i've got the neon uh, acrylic paint that i've talked about and i also put a yellow and green acrylic paint just because I'm not sure how this will work the uh, neon uh, colors are not quite opaque so maybe I will need to mix them with the regular uh, paint to get the result I want and well <laughs> let's I'm just starting with the green neon and we'll see what what we have so you see it's very very uh, translucent I'm not sure if I want it like this or if I want to let's see what happens if I am taking a little bit of the green color with the neon Not much. So I'm tapping a little bit of the green uh, acrylic paint just to add to the whole thing and we'll see maybe i will need another coat and i'm moving to the yellow i don't want a solid color i want a mix of the colors on top let's see okay now it's starting to take shape so I'm going to continue with this and just in several places I'm going to add the uh, acrylic, the regular acrylic paint so it will be more visible and like if I have the yellow, the yellow here I will uh, the neon yellow I will add a little bit it's moved of the regular yellow in several places see how it looks okay I like it so I'm going to continue <laughs> doing uh, this uh, let's move to the orange uh, neon and I didn't take any orange acrylic uh, paint but I figured it would be enough with the the yellow I have here so just continuing with this and taking a little bit of the plain yellow and mixing I think I want a little bit more yellow to mix with the green just so it will seem uh, more seamless okay yay <laughs> I like it moving on I need to do all the others uh, that I've done so uh, placing it in place again 
and I think I'll move to the uh, pink neon at least in some places not too much I don't want it to overwhelm I don't me and pink are not uh, uh, great friends <laughs> only in little bits of it so a little bit of pink here and just moving on to another color like so and also mixing in between so this is again just playing around and hoping I will get something interesting okay so I'm just going to continue and I'll be back I'm back so I'm really liking what's going on here all but in several places it's not neon enough it doesn't pop off the page so what I'm doing I've just taken a uh, this uh, neon markers and I'm just going in several places again quite random where I think it needs to be more uh, to pop up more from the page and adding a little bit and nothing to it just so it will be more noticeable on top of all the details I've got in the back maybe I should have just done uh, markers on top of my gesso instead of acrylic paint so I'm just as I said adding a little bit so it would be more a uh, more neon more noticeable like so let's see maybe a little bit more here I was thinking about taking a black permanent marker and going all around a these shapes so again they will be more noticeable but I really like what's going on here and I'm not sure I want to add black here so I'm leaving it be and hoping that this will be enough I can also smear it a little bit on top of the gesso and the acrylic paint yeah maybe a little bit more here yeah starting to take shape I haven't planned on any a focal point or anything on top of it I just wanted to see if I can do this uh, thing with double uh, <laughs> gesso and the stenciling and what will I get out of it so I'm probably going to leave this page like this and not add anything on top of it I'm really liking it it's a great background maybe in a later date I'll add something to it right now I'm leaving it be I hope you will try your hand in something like that I had a lot of fun with it I really like what's going on here even with all the, <laughs> the mess of details so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video Bye for now.